Hey, I'm Dr. Joe Niam to lovethatface.com. I'm a cosmetic facial surgeon in Richmond, Virginia. I do surgery from here to here. I don't do boobs, bellies, and butts. I'm a teacher, I'm an author, and I'm a surgeon. And I love doing these YouTube videos and talking to people all around the world. Our topic today is gonna to be chin implant in conjunction with facelift surgery. And when we do facelift surgery, a lot of people have deficient chins. And they have, you know, from the side, they have that kind of back position of their chin. And it kind of makes all this tissue here bunch up, okay? So the more prominent your chin is, uh, the, the better your facelift is going to be because it, it helps that whole uh, profile. If you have a deficient chin, you can still pull everything back and get a nice result, but you really don't have the youthful profile uh, that we're after. So we frequently do chin implants with patients that do uh, facelifts and have deficient uh, jaw lines. Now, um, some patients don't need facelifts. I do a lot of chin implants in my practice and I've, I've done many hundreds of them over uh, four decades. And it's, uh, it's one of my favorite procedures. It's an easy procedure to do and it's a pretty easy recovery. So you can do this with a mini lift. You can do it with a smass lift. You can do it with a deep plane lift. The type of lift doesn't matter, but having some chin augmentation can really complement your facelift. And I'm going to show you uh, some before and after pictures uh, with chin augmentation and maybe some that, that could have had chin augmentation but didn't. And you can see the big difference uh, that it makes. It really doesn't change the recovery. You know, your facelift recovery is still in the same realm and the chin heals uh, at the same time. Uh, why do I like implants? Well, number one, uh, they're easy to put in. Silicone has been used in the body for over a half century. It's very safe and it's easy to put in and it's easy to remove. There are other types of chin implant materials. Uh, some are mesh, some are uh, metal, some are polyethylene, and there's nothing wrong with them unless you have to remove them. And then they can be very problematic and destructive because they grow into the bone. With silicone chin implants or cheek implants or any silicone implant, you get a fibrous capsule that forms around them, and uh, which is a natural part of your, your body's healing. And if you ever want to remove them, uh, it's extremely easy. So there aren't many cosmetic procedures that are um, uh, permanent, but removable, okay? And are reversible. Uh, also, what's very important, uh, I, like I said, I've done many hundreds of chin implants over the decades, and I have seen a lot of patients and still see a lot of patients that come here because their chin implants were improperly placed or they weren't secured. And there, I have videos on this uh, that you can look at. Uh, they migrate, they get crooked, they cause problems. Uh, I fixate all of my chin implants with little micro screws, at least two micro screws, and they're not going to move. They're not going anywhere. One of the, you know, and also people uh, uh, think that sometimes that chin implants can cause your bone to dissolve. I've only seen that with mobile implants that are have micro movement that are continually moving up and down every day when the patient talks or eats or does uh, anything like that. And these can irritate the bone and cause bone loss. I've not seen severe bone loss with fixated implants. And you know, I'm not saying if you don't fixate it, you're doing it wrong. I think surgeons should do whatever works for them. Uh, but I can tell you this, I've seen many implants that were migrated and crooked because they weren't uh, fixated. So uh, I think silicone chin implants are uh, a great way to augment the chin. You know, and I have patients now that do filler and, and I do chin filler as well. But a lot of people get filler fatigue. I have videos on that as well. They're just sick of going in, having constant injections and paying for it. You know, if you do filler in that area, two or three times you could have paid for a chin implant. So I have a lot of videos out there on chin implants. You can look at them. I hope I've shed some light on why we use chin implants with facelift surgery. Uh, sit back here, I'm gonna show you some pictures. I'm Dr. Joe and I am to lovethatface.com. You're looking at before and after cases of facelift with simultaneous chin implants. So we do them at the same time. And when you look at these pictures, you'll notice, hopefully, that the facelifts look very good, but pay close attention to the chins. 
because you can see the improvement of patients with deficient chins uh, before their surgery and a nice normal profile after their surgery. This is a very powerful combination when you do facelift with chin implant at the same time. Now, these are just a fraction of the cases I've done. This is probably eight years worth of facelift and chin implants, and I've been doing facelifts for over 25 years, so I could have many more pictures. So sit back and enjoy this. If you have any desire for cosmetic facial surgery, you can reach out to us at lovethatface.com.